with Salisbury here again. Today we're just going to go over a simple concept, and that's continuations. So if you're in plant software and you are noticing that you are missing your continuations, well, you have the text here, but you're missing the components that would look something like, like that. You're not seeing the dotted representation of the connected components when you're doing an isogen batch. So how do you control these bugs? Well, the first inclination would be to go to iConfigure, Drawing Manager, or Drawing Area Content, or one of those two. Because that is where you control the actual continuation callout that shows the coordinates and the line you're connected to. That's not where you need to go. <laughs> so you don't need to go into iConfigure at all, really, for that. What you need to do instead is come into your plant and then go into your setup. And in your setup, it's actually a variable in your configuration file. So go to your configuration settings. Uh, make sure you recognize which config you're editing. And then we'll go down to isogen continuation graphic count. Well, isn't that fancy? It's a long one that kind of tells you exactly what it does. If you put zero in there, you will get no graphics. So if you want to disable continuation graphics between different line numbers or between sheets, um, that's where you want to go. Uh, we keep it at three here. Uh, you can go down to one if you just want one. One can kind of be bad sometimes if you have just like a gasket because it's, it's not going to represent something. So going for two to three is good. That way you get past like a gasket, bolt, flange configuration. So you're at least showing one object in most, mostly all cases. Um, so that's that's how you fix the problem. If you're not getting your continuation graphics when you run ISOs, uh, just modify your config. Okay, save it.